This is the card we're going to be doing today. Isn't it pretty? I did this. I, I stamped this. You don't have to put the color on it. I just flipped it over so it was a quick color. I will show you how to do that. Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. Um, I started out with uh, using the Happiness Ab Abounds. I used uh, Happy Birthday on this card, but I'm also going to do a thank you. And that came from the Harvest or uh, Nature's Harvest. So you could do either. I'm just showing you a variety. Um, and the Time Warm Type 3D Embossing Folder, which is awesome. I love this one. But um, this from here, I use mostly the dies that I, I used this one to cut out the two leaves. This was to cut out the multiple leaves here. Um, then I use this one to cut out that flower and I use this one to cut out this and this flower. Now you can use the dies, you don't have to. You could do uh, cut out the up the designer series paper just with your scissors. It is, like I said, it is totally up to you what you do. This one, I cut it out myself. Didn't have to, I've got the die, but it's easy to, to cut out. Now, this is the designer series paper. Isn't it scrumptious? Oh my. And there's a, this is just, uh, you will see all these uh, plus marks around the sheet that I use today. Now, this is variegated and this is the image of it. It's the same colors, variegated. And then this one is all variegated and the other side is this. And um, these, all these little flowers and the plus signs are on the sheet that I used. Now there's that one, isn't it pretty? Oh my. And like this is all variegated too. Hold on, I will make it easier for you to see. Yep, maybe I will, maybe I won't. See how it does all the different shades? And this one, has this so you can basically do uh, pick what colors you want if you want the yellows oranges or do you want the blue greens or whatever you want now this is the sheet that I used and the other side is this beautiful shading you could use this one too this one is exactly the same as this one just different colors so it has all these colors on the back of it. Set that out of the way. And I will show you, I just cut it, cut pieces out, what the ones I wanted. And then I just took them and I put the die cuts on them, ran them through the big shot and, um, if there was like this leaf, it's real easy to do. So I just sat here for a few minutes and cut, 
cut a few of them out and I cut these out to go on the inside. So th this is the sheet that I used, but like I said, you could use the other one too. I just think this is so pretty because I didn't use any stamps at all. The only time I used a stamp was for the happy birthday or it's going to be, um, thank you. So you just cut them out. Now I used this stunning piece and I put it on the white and ran it through and all these little pieces come out and then when you glue it down you see the blue from behind but I ran this through the um, the time warm embossing folder after I cut it out and then I glued it down I hope that makes sense to you then I took my this is uh, granny apple green paper and this is my bow punch. Now this one here, I'll turn it over here. This one here, and I think it's an inch and a half. So I cut my paper in inch and a half strips and I just ran it through and punched them out. And most of them did not get a stem, the stem down here, because I don't want it. it. It's useless to me because it's going to go underneath the flowers. So it's pointless to do it. If it's on there, you can't do anything about it, that's different, but you don't need it to be on there. Now I'm gonna, and for this, this is half inch Knight of Navy, and I just stuck it in here and flipped it over, and I punched that so that it has the banner end. And I, uh, I stamped this and then I cut it out so that you would see the blue and that would be accented. So I think I've said everything. Oh, no, I haven't. Um, now I took a piece of one half inch uh, frayed ribbon and it's one and a half inches and then I just grabbed it and I frayed it all the way down to about three ribs there's one two three and what I did is grab my paper and I I did a little bit of this it's white ribbon and then I came along here and colored it. Now I did the whole card with just this little one piece of ribbon. I cut it into very tiny little segments. Once this dry, I cut it into maybe five sections and I put it on a glue dot so there isn't a lot at each section so put that up there and get that out of the way okay this I punched out and then I took my um, tweezers and I put this on here and I twisted it and got every leaf done so that it has a bit of um, depth to it, dimension. It just, it kind of moves that way. So I am taking my little glue and I am putting this on right in the corner here. Some is going to be out some is going to be underneath and this one I did the same down here
and these were easy to do because I knew where the rest were going to go. So let's get things out of here. Hopefully I don't <laughs> lose them. <laughs> As you know, I am gifted in that department. So I don't need all this back here. So I'm just going to, oh, well, I don't know where that came from. Sequins from heaven. So I am putting this over here and hopefully it's in the right spot. It doesn't really matter if it sticks out a little bit more from the uh, flower, that's okay, it doesn't matter. Now what I did is I just took a strip of the dimensionals, cause I had these and I just thought, well, I'll just use those instead of using two, but keep them in the center and it just makes it easier to put everything underneath because you have to stick things down. So then you look at this and you decide which way you want it to go. And I want it to go that way. And then I'm going to take, well, one of these and I'm going to glue it. These are one of the ones I cut out. I cut these out because they're on the smaller size and I just stuck them in there and I've got extra hair. And then I, um, this one I think, yeah, th this is all cut out. This one is cut out. I that one I did with the blends. I had left over from another card. So I figure if I need it, I will use it. If I don't need it, it's fine. So now I'm going to bring this one in here and kind of come out because the other one is going to go in here. Now you figure out which way you want it. Yep, this way to go and then just aim it that way stay within your boundaries and see since it's right in here I can get the stuff underneath so what did I do with that ribbon I just had it I did I did I did <laughs> Isn't this typical of me? It's going to be right there. I know it. Soon as I finish this card, it's going to show up. Okay, I will take another piece and I will cut it. There it is. I knew it would show up. But this time I got it before I uh, got anything done. See, I just took a little snippet like that. And now I'm taking my glue dots and I'm putting this in the glue dot. Now I'm going to try to spread this out a little bit and it will go hopefully underneath without any problems. If I can get it detached from my finger. And I'm starting up here. See, it's spread out a little bit. And now what I will do is I will take a little piece of this um, it's the edge of the, um, dimensionals. Yay, I, I got it. <laughs> I still have my cold, but I am doing much better. Sometimes I think the head's not working though, sometimes. Just bad. <laughs> it's called work head work. 
Now I'm going to do the same thing again and I will finish this area here with these and then I will go on and finish out here. And stick this underneath both. And then I will grab another one of these so that it just, I just think this will hold it in place a little bit easier. So you spread it out and then you kind of come in and then you put it there. How's that? Does that make sense? Whoopsie. Like I'm just doing little itty bitty stripes of it and I lose a little bit and uh, on the other card I gathered those little pieces together, the ones that fell off, and I put them on uh, in a different section so I could make use of all the little pieces. There. See how it works? Sometimes it works good and sometimes it doesn't quite work so good, but you'll get the hang of it as I am doing. Just stick this. And that way you're, this, by doing this, it actually brings your um, flower, it's not just attached in the center because it, uh, it looks unstable if it's just attached in the center. This looks more like it's uh, like it's still loose here, and so it's got movement, but it's not um, everything up. It's it's got ups and downs, and that looks more like a flower. I hope that makes sense because that's what I'm I'm trying for to make it make it look natural. This is basically falling apart, but that's okay because you just grab it together and you put it on your glue dot and then you kind of work it around. So that it's got some movement to it, but it's still attached to that uh, glue dot and then you stick it underneath and I'm using that to hold it down see that attach that glue dot attached to this uh, flower so it's holding it down okay now I gotta look and see what I can find here I hope I got them all. Yeah, there we are. I changed this one up a little and I used different flowers. So this one actually has the roses to it. It has these and it also has roses. So, okay, which way do I want that? Okay, I think I want it like that. And this one like that. So I'm going to put this one, actually I should probably put this one down. Again, just do the center, but I'm, I'm attaching these in the center with the glue. I didn't want them lifted up. 
but aren't they pretty? Just like that. Now this one is going to go in here to make it look like the leaves are growing from behind. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing better. It took me a while to get back on here. My husband had uh, surgery. He had a cancerous lesion on his shoulder and we've been, uh, well, it. he's had it since before COVID and they just kept putting it off, putting it off. And when we could get in to see the doctor, it was like, oh, you need to get in right now and uh, get that looked after because that's cancer yeah I know it's cancer I could have told you that two years ago <laughs> but when you can't go in to see the doctor he can't do anything about it and then he refers you to the surgeon and the surgeon they can't do things for a while because of lockdowns and <sighs> So she tried to do it once before and she said, oh, we can't do that. Um, here, you have to go to OR and be put out. It's too big. So wait months and months and months again. And so this week was the day and it's finally gone. And when he got there, the surgeon goes, oh, I should have had you in here a long time ago. That's grown so much. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. Not happy. <laughs> but what you gonna do? So he has not been... He did, I think he did better with the surgery than I did. I do not do well when I don't know what's going on. I <laughs> it's my husband's health. Um, yeah, and I didn't know what was going on and I did not sleep the night before. <sighs> yeah, I was up most of the night. Just could not get to sleep. Could not get over it. And yeah but it's over with now it's encapsulated so it's not uh, going to spread they were supposed to have got the whole thing I think so things are fine but yeah I did not do well Does everybody else, anybody else have that problem with if things happen to their family? I couldn't have, I did not, I had hip replacement surgery. I did not have a problem with it at all. I was not concerned. I slept the night before. It was fine. But you put my husband into the equation and I don't know what's going on. And yeah, not, not good just not good there so what do you think I think I've got a few more of these I could put them on could do another might just as well make use of the whole thing. And I'll do it up here. There. 
it looks pretty good I like this ribbon I think it looks pretty on here just with the um, the way it stands out I hope you like it and this is going to go underneath here okay so I can cut off that and I am going to do I guess I'm doing minis Whatever I can find. Oh, that did not. S I had a half of one. Actually, I had these are all halves. If you can see it, they're all halves. I was doing something that I needed quite a few of these and I just cut them up and yeah, there she be. Now I want this on the white so you can see that uh, uh, banner end. Just like that. Now I'm taking my Wink of Stella and I'm going over all the flowers just to give it that little pop of gl glimmer, glam. I guess I need to put that down. I will get a, something to put it down with. Okay, here we go. better so I put this attach this Isn't this a pretty, um, the hues of happiness? These are gorgeous, absolutely stunning flowers. And you can do basically this whole card without any um, stamps. You can just take the whole paper and there you go. Now I cut the this is from the edge of the paper yeah Cheryl and I am just putting it right here at the edge and what I will do is cut this off now I have another one here and I will stick that underneath there So that looks like it's growing underneath. I just took whatever scrap pieces I could find. Now I'm going to this little leaf right in here like that now someplace in here there it is right there I have this little sprig of little flowers that are all over that paper and I thought why not use them and just add a bit of color 
to this over here. Nope, don't need it. I think that looks nice. So we will put this inside. I have lots of that hair from the ribbon left. hadn't screwed up yet so that's about time <laughs> it's quiet here Safira Bill has taken Safira to soccer practice no soccer game maybe it's a game already maybe it's just practice I'm not sure it's supposed to be Thursday is the game, but I don't know if they've had enough practice to have a game yet. This is the flower from the Happiness Abounds. This one right here. It's like a wild rose to me. And I will clean that off and show you what I did. You do not have to do this. You can just leave it like this. But I flip this over and I took my Coastal Cabana and I inked it up, then I bring this here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Stamp once, stamp twice, and then I'm going to try and get it so that it, there. See how nice that looks? You, it's a little bit watercolorish because it's a little bit outside, but if because I've stamped off the corner here, you can get it a little bit more precise so you don't end up like that. I was in a hurry because my grandkids were down here, and that's what happens. But uh, that's okay. Kind of get this out of the way so I've got cleaned up my mess a little bit out of the way put things back so that I can bring my paper in so what do you think which one do you like best they're basically the same um, colors uh, just this one has roses on it um, whereas these have kind of like the wild rose more look to them so that these match up with these kind of flowers but I've added in different flowers here because you have all kinds of different flowers in your garden so which one do you like the best the happy birthday or the thank you Thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate you being, spending time with me and being a part of my life. Thank you for all the lovely comments and for the new subscribers. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. If there's anything I can do to help you, uh, if there's any questions, my contact information is attached. And if you need any of these supplies, you can go to my uh, online store and purchase them and they will be delivered right to your door. And if anybody in Canada doesn't have a demonstrator and needs a catalog, just let me know. We have a brand new catalog out and these are some of the things that are in it. So if you like this, please like, share, subscribe. I so appreciate that. 
when that when there's um, things because that helps me grow my channel. Thank you so much. Bye now.